Hey guys, Scott from the RecordingSolution.com. I just want to show you a simple, quick way to like when you're recording a song, you're doing pre-production uh, before the band comes in. If you have an idea of a song, you want to structure it out, and you're trying to convey that to the rest of your players. Um, for this song, I'm using like drum samples or drum loops that I've created, and I wanted to show you how. In Pro Tools, you can use virtual virtual instruments to do this, and I'm sure other DAWs have similar virtual in instruments that you can play around with. and And I'm by no means any drum pro programmer or beat maker or anything, but uh, I pulled something off. But let me show you what I got, and it's very simple. And I'm getting a guitar player in tomorrow, and he's gonna lay a bunch of rocking guitars over it. So this is kind of like guide tracks for the drummer and guitar players to play to so it's not just a click track and maybe acoustic guitar so here's what i did let's listen to it and then i'll break it down whoops here we go Don't mind the work, need the pay. Putting 10 hours plus. Anyways, that's a super scratch vocal. Um, didn't even really sing that hard, just trying to get a guide track. But you get the drift of what we're doing there, all those little cool sounds you heard. So let's break it down on an individual track by track basis. And so I started with this kick. And in Pro Tools, you set up a, let's show you, shift, command, in, and I set up one stereo, and we have instrument tracks. And when I click that, it goes to ticks. It automatically goes that. So I created instrument track so I can put a virtual instrument plugin on there. I'm not going to create another one because I already have it. So I did that here, and I did it on all these that you see here. You're probably hearing a motorcycle drive through my neighborhood. That's the awesomeness of home studios. But anyways, here's the kick. Let's play that. So I literally opened up this thing called Expand, and I went through a bunch of menus, drums, and found a kick. 37 kicks menu and I had my MIDI uh, actually it's not even a MIDI it's a uh, mini controller it's a little keyboard um, only like 49 can't uh, uh, 49 keys and it plugs in via USB to the back of my computer and then Pro Tools rec recognizes it you don't have to have a MIDI cable or anything it's just a USB and so I'm hitting different keys and it has different kick sounds and all that stuff so I found that one and I uh, just had this pattern simple I put a little rectify. Um, I don't really know what it did. I just put it on there and it sounds cool. It sounded like distorted. I'll turn it off. And just adds a little grit. Okay, simple. All right. And then I, same plugin, found a snare, bright and tight, bright and tight. Or tile, I don't know what that means. Bright and tight. But it's under the drums menu. So play around and find some drum sounds you like. And I got this. Okay. And then we just kept building. Same plugin. And then we got this. So that is tables. I have no idea. I just literally, I probably sat here for an hour or two and messed around with sounds and and uh, found stuff that worked off each other. All right, and then I added more hi hat shaker.
Okay, and then I was like, need something more. Same plugin. So now it's, it's getting getting fun, and it needed more, of course. It's a little shaker, and you didn't hear this on when I played it down here because I forgot to have this one routed to the print. But added this little thing, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but I thought it was cool. Check it out. <laughs> Now this is just the intro, okay? And if you see up here, I got some other tracks, and I'll show you what that is. But I there's gonna be an intro to the song. We have like some maybe steel guitar and over that, and like cool guitar, like eerie parts, and then it'll kick into the full band kicking in here. So I'll show you what, and then the, the acoustic guitars. I uh, did a take all the way through, pan one hard left, and did a separate take all the way through, and pan one hard right. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. And then let's see what that sounds like when it kicks in here. So that's when the whole band would kick in, bass guitar, rocking electric guitars, um, whatever, make it sound awesome. Um, and we're going to do all the electric guitars tomorrow. Hopefully get them all done tomorrow. And I'll shoot the video as we add on to this and show you how this is being built. But I just wanted to show you the foundation I'm, I'm doing first. And um, so I printed, let me mute these two. Let me see what I did here. I forgot. I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah. So let's unsolo all these guys and listen to this dude. So all that is is I think the kick, the snare, and this these these three tracks. And uh, I was just gonna print those three, and I was like, no, nah, I like the shaker in there too. So. Um, that's why I had these this one muted, this one muted because I didn't want it doubling with this. But the reason I printed it, I did a, a track, an audio track here and routed these through here and printed it is because I wanted to make that sound where it's like lo-fi. Check it out. Here's what it sounds like without this EQ and this compressor. So I wanted it to be real like chill. So I EQ'd it. I rolled off pretty much all the low end and all uh, all the high end and left this like low mid to high mid area until it made it sound like that. Okay, and then I just compressed it, get it to everything to kind of even out. Okay, and then I had these, since that kick and that snare and this thing was already on that recorded, I just un, uh, I solo, un, I muted these and I solo these. And that's what I printed down here, like in the beginning that you heard. And I got that and I was like, well, it needs like a, the drummer's going to come in here and lay some real drums down, but I wanted a backing drum track. As, instead of having a click for everyone to play to, I wanted just like a guide track with the drum samples, recorded like virtual drums. And I have what's called Contact 5 Studio Drummer. I got this when I first started learning how to mix like so long ago and record years ago, and I still have it. And it just has these cool grooves. You just pick like a different style pop I had blues rock groove one and then I'll play that oh it's muted 
let's do this and play it like this and you can change it different grooves it's cool and I'd use it to build like guiding track so let's unsolo all this stuff so here's that by itself And you can drag like when you pick a uh, when you pick a groove you like, you just kind of grab this little area here, and you can like drag it. See how it comes in? You can drag it, and it comes in like two bar uh, increments. And then I just copy it and paste it. And then you can go in here, you can actually edit it down even further. I know it looks like a lot, and but you can get close and edit hits if you want to take out hits, which I'll show you I did. Like right here, I wanted some stabs. So I went in here, and added like extra snare hits, you just double click, I won't go into the tutorial how to do this, but super easy, you can delete little hits, add more hits, find where the snares and the kicks, and dot, 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 and added those for different elements of me producing where I want it, like what, I want the band to know that's what we're doing right there. So it was a little tedious, and I'm not the fastest using this, but I just want to show you what you can do. And you can get your message across using this and have it get last guide tracks. So together, these guys sound like this. Now you might have heard that's the same track. Once it gets right here, it gets like full drums. That's because I did the EQ thing again, but I automated it on Pro Tools. It has a little button here, and you can automate everything about that EQ. And I obviously had the master bypass was over here. Double clicked it, so now it lets me automate that. So on this track, I went to down here, and it has the effects EQ seven band master bypass. So I can click that. And then this is the on or off of the autom of the turning this on and off, the automation. So it's on here and off here. And when it's off, you get the full range of the EQ. And when it's on, you get it filtered. So it kept the intro really lo-fied, cool. And then when the band kicks in, that's when all the rock and guitars, I want a full drum kit. And so, got that. Let's get this all back in here. And then listen to it all without the vocals. Pretty cool. And it's like I said, it's just a foundation track, and here's the vocals. Um, I'm not too excited about these vocals. I'm gonna recut it and actually warm up and sing. And I think I had a few beers right before saying this, so it wasn't the best take. But uh, we'll play it just for uh, tutorial's sake. Uh, let's do this. Don't mind the work, need the Putting 10 hours plus. Just another day 
got kids to feed, bills to pay. But life puts me in a corner up against the wall. This ain't no time to fall. And I If you notice that the the verses go back down into that cool filtered out drum sound there. And then halfway through the second verse, instead of the whole way, we kick the drums back in. Have have cool electric guitars going like cool riffs. Anyways, that's how I am uh, setting this up and producing this song and just kind of using a, uh, might want to try to pitch this song. I don't, I'm going to try to get in front of some cool people in the country music uh, industry. Don't know if it'll be successful getting to them, but we're going to try. If not, we'll just release it myself and uh, go from there and see what it does. But uh, I just wanted to show you how you use drum loops and drum samples and create some cool stuff. And it might sound a little funky and it might not be the, you might not keep it on the final track, but it, you, you're building a vibe. Because a lot of times I, in the past, I would just have a click track and an acoustic guitar and then I'd get the drummer to come in if we're doing one player at a time. And all he has to play with, to uh, play to, is a uh, click track and acoustic track, my vocal. So it's not very inspiring. For him, I'd like the drummer to get into the mood and the and the, the the emotion of the song. So if I can build these drum loops and and it's the pre-production is there, we know that these are the stops and the starts and the verses and that's where everything's gonna be. Then uh, once you make those decisions, which is very important when you're producing a song, spend a lot of time in pre-production. Uh, so your songs are lined up and produced very well, and it, it just flows. And then record until you're done doing the pre-production and everyone agrees on that's the way it should sound like. And you can do things on the fly when you're recording, but 90, 99%, 90% of the way there is a good way to start when you record to know what the song's going to do. And I did. I spent a lot of time on my guitar, and I want it like this, I want it like that. But now when the drummer comes in, he's going to have drum loops, cool little drum samples, the emotion of the verse as it drops down, the emotions of the chorus as it lifts up, uh, the electric guitars will be here on t- uh, tomorrow. And uh, he'll have a scratch vocal, and he'll just get the whole energy, so I think I'll get a better performance out of that drummer. So I wanted to show you how I did that, and I will shoot a tutorial, excuse me, I'll shoot a tutorial once the uh, the guitars are on, and we'll show you as we build this up all the way to a finished product. So it's going to be pretty cool over the next few weeks or a month or however long it takes to get these guys in. But thanks for watching. Scott from TheRecordingSolution.com. Uh, subscribe to the channel or click the free ebook there and you'll also be put on my email list where you'll get free stuff like this delivered straight to your inbox and we're going to have all kinds of stuff cool stuff in the future as this site grows and, and our community grows so join be a part of it hit like on youtube hit those little bells i think there's some new bells in there you got to hit uh so once you subscribe that we get added to your feed if i remember hearing that right but uh thanks for watching scott from the recording solution See you on the other side.